Hey Planner Babes, Ashley here. Today I'm going to show you um, how I complete a spread for memory keeping. So what I've already done ahead of time is I went through the, well, let me move some stuff here. The first thing that I did was I took these sticky notes to kind of jot down some notes about what happened during the week. And the way, like how I got this information, and I talk about this in every single one of my memory keeping videos, Please, 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 if you have not already started this, I beg of you to do it because it is incredibly helpful and it's really nice to have. Um, but if we look back here at like November, um, I have this sheet that I printed out every evening as a part of my evening routine. I jot down some notes in the notes app on my phone about what we did during the day. Um, funny things my kid says, well, if we ran errands, if it was like a chill day, games we played, um, doctors, but like literally anything and everything. Sometimes I write down what we ate for dinner. Like it doesn't really matter. I just write a bunch of a bunch of things down um, in my notes app, and then I will print this off and I stick it in the monthly section of my memory keeper. I didn't print it off for January. That's actually what I'm planning for. I'm doing some um, back planning here, but I didn't print it off for January because I'm out of printer ink. So I went into the notes app on my phone and I just took some notes from that 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 note <laughs> if that makes sense uh normally if I was sitting here and I wasn't filming this I wouldn't do the sticky notes I would just pull it up on my phone like if I couldn't print it I would just pull it up on my phone and read from it but where I film with my phone I wasn't able to do that so that's the only reason why I did the sticky notes I normally don't do that but I have to film this video and I need my phone to do that so I did that step one step number two was I went through my phone and when I am doing memory keeping I operate off of photo albums so I have an album that I just titled Memory Keeping. And inside of there, I will go back through my regular photos and I will pick out the ones I want to print for memory keeping and I move them into that album. And then I have a Canon selfie. This is how I print photos at home. I have a video all about this. I will link it down below. But if you don't have one of these, I used to print my photos at Walmart, which was awesome. Walmart has really good high quality photos that are fairly cheap. Um, CVS, Walgreens, like it doesn't matter where you print your photos, but you just need to print your photos. So I have my photos ready. And then I also use an app called Project Life. And inside of there, I just made these, um, these little photos where I had wrote some text on them or whatever and then I printed those out with my Canon selfie and if you want to see the full process of how I do that let me know and I can make a separate video um so there's my photos I have that stuff and then I also have some stickers out so I pulled out the Disney ones whoop, because these are the ones I want to use this week I can't hold on to them they're flying everywhere so anyways I have some Disney stickers I also have Netflix on and I'm currently obsessed with the show called Dead to Me um, it is a very, very good show, and I really want to keep watching it while I memory keep because that's like what I do. <laughs> so I am going to speed this up. I will probably do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing um, as far as laying all the stuff out and stickers and, and um, photos and all that stuff. But while I actually sit here and do it, I am going to watch some Netflix here on my laptop and uh, make this spread. So we're going to speed this up, and I will chat with you guys in the voiceover. Hey, 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 Planner Babes, voiceover Ashley here. A couple of things really quickly. I use the Tombow double-sided adhesive tape to adhere my photos into my planner. If you do not have the Tombow double-sided tape, a glue stick works wonderfully well, um, and glue sticks are way cheaper. I may end up going to glue sticks and using those. Um, something to keep in mind, I don't know if this is still the case today because back in the day, um, I'm not that old. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But back in my day, kids, you used to have to be careful with glue sticks. If you wanted to use glue sticks on photos, you had to buy a specific glue stick. Um, Elmer's made them, but it just said, you know, you could use them on photos or whatever. I'm sure nowadays, you know, 2021, here we are. I'm sure that any glue stick will work on photos. It probably doesn't matter. I'm just throwing that out there because I don't want you to get a glue stick and then start to glue your photos down and then it messes up your photos. So that's one thing. Um, the Tombow double-sided tape, I order mine from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I will actually have a lot of memory keeping supplies and videos linked down below for you guys. And if you didn't know, on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist that is just for memory keeping. 
and I have a video about my favorite memory keeping supplies. I have other kind of memory keeping with me videos. I'll be honest though, as of the recording of this video, I don't have a ton of videos in that playlist, but I do have plans of increasing the amount of videos in that playlist and showing you guys more content. And like I mentioned earlier, I do use the Project Life app and I quickly want to explain just a little bit about it, but if you want to see an in-depth video on how I use it digitally, comment below, let me know, and I will be more than happy to make that video. But with Project Life, you can actually order the physical product or you can do it digitally. I do it digitally just because it's faster. I can literally set here and print everything out. I don't have to wait for stuff to come to me, which honestly I've thought about doing the physical product because you can order kits. And so I could order multiple kits and have everything here. It's entirely up to you whichever way you want to do it. Um, but I, use, I love the Project Life app because you can make collages and you can print them out. Um, you can print them out on uh, printer paper, on cardstock, whatever you have you can print them out. But I also love it because they have these cards where you can do text on them. And I love doing that and making little notes and stuff because my writing is not that good. Uh, and I love being able to do that and stick that inside of my planner and have it neat and legible. <laughs> but um, like I said, if you wanna see a full in-depth tutorial, I can totally do that. I will show you everything digitally. And then in the future, if I do end up ordering any Project Life kits, I will be sure to let you guys know. Actually, I may end up doing that because now I'm really wanting to. Um, so anyways, that's just a little bit of a tidbit of information. The next thing I want to talk about is the show on Netflix called Dead to Me. Seriously, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Like, watch this video first, all right? And then go watch Dead to Me. And be prepared to binge. If you're like me and you tend to binge watch shows, be prepared for this one. It is so stinking good, you guys. It throws you for so many curveballs, so many unexpected events. I absolutely love it, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that show. All right, let me be honest with you. When I first sit down to memory keep, normally my first layout, my first spread is not my favorite. And then as like I once I sit down in that setting, that time that I'm actually doing it, like my second and third spread, I start to get into a groove with things. And it seems to happen every single time I memory keep. I don't know why. Maybe I've just told myself that it happens like that and now I continue to make spreads the first time that I don't like. Um, not that I, this one is bad or anything. Um, it is cute and it turned out really cute and it works just fine. Um, but I like the second one better. The one where, um, you guys will see it, but it's my son's birthday week. And, um, I show you guys that spread that I make and I end up liking it so much better. But I just want to tell you guys that, um, document all the things, it, the little things. It really doesn't matter. Life is not about these big grand moments. I mean, yes, those are important too. But life is more about the little things that happen every single day. Actually, me and my husband were just looking at pictures the other day on our phones from like a couple of years ago. And it's just, we have the most random photos of just everyday happenings. And it brings back so many memories. And it's not the big moments. It's all of those little moments. So I want to encourage you, jot down what you had for dinner. A funny thing that your kids said or um, the first time that they said a cuss word. Because Lord knows our, <laughs> all the kids do that, right? Um you know, just little happenings. Did you mow the grass? Did you go for a walk outside or, um, I don't know, did you watch, sit in your window and watch a squirrel? Like, <laughs> it seems so irrelevant because they are so tiny, but it's very, very important. I mean, even document the stressful days. Like, whenever you have a bad day and you're just ready to rip your hair out of your head, like, document that because I promise you, I look back at some of my old spreads and it reminds me so much of just the day-to-day -day happenings and so many good memories come up. And then I even, sometimes when I look at the stressful days, I'm like, I, that was not even a reason to be stressed out, but I was stressed out then and I can look back on it now and I can laugh. So that's my tip for you. Even if it seems so tiny and so small and so irrelevant, it is not. It is your life and every moment of your life is important and I encourage you to document as much as you can.
All right, I am going to be finished with this spread and I am gonna go ahead and prep everything, get pictures printed out and whatnot for the next spread. And potentially this evening, I may try to completely get January caught up. Um, I don't think we have any plans this evening, so it's going to be a pretty chill night, and I'm okay with Netflix and memory keeping, so um, that's going to be this first spread that I have did, and like I said, I'll get everything set up and ready to go for the next spread, and um, once I get it set up, I'll come back in and I'll walk you guys through how I'm doing that spread. This is the second spread that I was talking about. I love the way that this one turned out. It took me a hot minute to get everything the way that I wanted to, but I really love this one. This, um, my son's birthday was on the 23rd, and so I just made this entire week about his birthday. Um, other things happened during that week, but that was like, that was one of the bigger moments, you know what I mean? It wasn't the everyday small things. It, my son was turning eight, so we, I made the entire spread about him, but I really love the way that this one turned out. And I used some circle stickers and turned those into balloons. I, um, <laughs> here in a second, you'll see me put down a photo upside down and then I had to take it up and flip it over so just just be cautious sometimes that happens um sometimes with the Tombow double-sided tape if you put it down and you push on it like you kind of make sure it's adhered really well it is not coming up and when it does it will tear up your page so I'm so thankful that I didn't do that with this one because I was able to pull the photo up and flip it around the correct way and it wasn't upside down anymore so that's a random little tip too. Just be mindful of not placing your photos upside down. But I really love the way that this one turned out. Um, really cute spread. I love the things that I printed off from Project Life. That was really, really cute. All right, let me give you all a couple of life updates. I know that whenever I watch um, YouTube videos, plan with me's and stuff, and people talk about their life in voiceovers, it's so much, it's so fun. I feel like I get to know the person. So I'm going to do that with you guys. Y'all, I got a new job. Actually, I got my first job as a nurse. I'm so, so excited. I haven't started yet. I start in about two weeks, maybe two and a half. But I'm currently doing the like pre-employment stuff. I have to go today actually for a physical where they'll draw my blood and um, do all that stuff. And then I also got a background check that's done and good to go. I got all the paperwork filled out and everything. And I'm really, really excited for it. But I'm also very, very nervous. And if you guys don't know my journey... Um, Last year in 2020, I graduated from nursing school. I failed the NCLEX, not once, but twice, um, which is okay. I actually have an entire video on how I ended up studying, changed my entire study habits for the third time that I took the NCLEX and I passed it in 75 questions, which made me super, super happy. So if you guys want to watch that, you definitely can. It's up on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're like, I have nothing to study for, I don't want to watch that video, that's totally fine and I totally understand, but I know that I also have nursing students that uh, watch my videos. And you don't even have to be in nursing school, okay? If you're studying for anything, I think that that study method that I show is a great way. But anyways, I have a new job coming up that I'm starting, and it's at the hospital that I, like I originally, hold up, let me slow down here. When I graduated nursing school, I already had this job lined up. And then I filled the NCLEX and the manager was like, I'll wait on you, no big deal, take it again, you'll pass it, it'll all be good. Well then I filled it for the second time and she was like, you know, I can't hold the position, which I totally understand. She has a unit to run, she can't sit around and piddle fart and wait on me all day, right? Well, apparently the person that was supposed to take the job ended up going somewhere else to work. I don't know what happened, but um, I passed it for the third time and she's like, I still, it's still available, like it's yours. She even made my name tags. That's, if you're a nurse, you understand what I'm talking about. The name tags that go on the whiteboard, the magnetic ones for what room you're at. Um, so anyway, she still had those and that made me super excited. And um, I don't know, I'm just excited to work there. It's a smaller hospital, which makes me excited because it's more like family. It's not like a, a big old hospital where they throw you in and, you know, you're like <laughs> drowning as a new baby nurse. And you're like, oh my God, why did I do this? Um, not saying that I won't be overwhelmed because I, I'm prepared to be overwhelmed and stressed out and unsure of every little thing that I do. and um, But I know that over time I will get better at this and I will become a good nurse. And it'll just, it'll just take a little bit of time and I'm going to be extremely cautious and make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Which I will do that once I become a, you know, once I get like a year or two out. I'm still going to be cautious. I'm still going to try to be the absolute best nurse I can possibly be. 
but um, I am a little nervous, just a little bit. So that's all right. I know that those, those nerves will eventually go away and then they'll probably come back. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, I talked about the show Dead to Me that I've been watching. I finished up that and now I'm watching another show, which I don't really recommend it. Uh, I think it's just, I've been playing it because it's something that you don't actually ha really have to pay attention to. It's just noise in the background. So I'm not really recommending that one. What else? I think that's really it, you guys. I took a hiatus for, I don't know, a week, week and a half after I passed the NCLEX. Just took a break, relax. I feel like this giant weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So... Yeah, just stress levels are low, feeling good. Summer is coming, which I am excited for. We found a pool, which makes me so happy because last year, okay, wait a minute. The year before last, we had one of those little smaller pools for my son. It had the like blow up ring around the top. Well, when we took that one down, we cut it. We did that intentionally. We took it down, then we cut the pool and um, drained the last little bit of water out because we knew that we was gonna get a bigger pool. Well, then 2020 came, the pandemic happened, everybody's staying home more, so people bought pools. We didn't get a pool. <laughs> we didn't have a pool at all last year, which was really sad. Um, and then this year, we were at Royal King one day, and they had one pool left. And I told my husband, I was like, we have got to get this now, or I think, I think this is our chance. Like, this is our chance to get the pool and have a pool. So we have a pool, but it is bigger than the pool we had before. So now we have to move rock and bricks and potentially um, have to dig out a spot in our yard for it or whatever. But I don't care. I don't care at all. I will do whatever we have to do to make sure we have a pool this year. So I'm so excited for that. That's something else that I'm excited for. Just chilling out in the summer, listening to some tunes, and hanging out in the pool with my kiddo. That sounds like a fantastic summer for me. Mm, that's really all the life updates that I have, you guys. <laughs> Nothing else exciting and fun has happened. But what I'm going to do from here, um, I do come back at the end of this and I talk to you. So make sure you stick, toward, stick around towards the end. Uh, but for the rest of this, up until I start talking again, I'm going to play some music for you guys. So enjoy the spread if you have any questions, seriously don't hesitate to reach out. I am more than happy to help. Thank you for listening to my babbling. And as always, thank you so, 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 so much for supporting my YouTube channel, for watching my videos. Seriously, it means a lot to me and I love y'all. Y'all are the best. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up a two. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Chasing all that we do not have Chasing all that we Ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other, but now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home
I always knew we could do so many great things. So believe in me. I believe in you. And I just feel that this will be an upswing. All right, so this spread is finished for the week. This was actually my son's birthday week. So I made it all about him this week. And then I also created this fun little sheet and I made it using this cardstock. This is from the Happy Planner. It's a part of their memory keeping line. You may be able to find this at Michael's or at Joann's. Um, I know it's really hard to find sometimes, but I've had this for years and I've been hoarding it because I love it so much and I only use it on rare occasion. And I thought that his birthday was perfect for that. So anyways, I printed off some pictures. I made this one, this one, that one, and that one inside of Project Life. And then I printed those off with my Canon selfie. And then I just stuck these pages down on the back. This one is from the Canon selfie too. And it says the party guests. And then I just um, used the double-sided tape to adhere the pictures to it. So then this one will just pop right in here. And so we have this spread, which was the first one that I created. And then we have this one. And I actually am going to be finished tonight on memory keeping. I may come back in later on tonight and do this last week. It's already um, eight o'clock. I ended up earlier, I had to take a break. I had some other stuff. I had, adult, I had to adult, I had some adulting to do. So anyways, um, it's eight o'clock now. I'm gonna be making dinner here soon and we need to get my son's homework finished up. So I'm gonna do that first. And um, I might do this last week, I might not. I don't know, I haven't decided just yet. But anyways, that is um, just a couple of different spreads that I make inside of my memory keeper. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.